Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Today I want to talk about this massive Awakener kill event that is going to start on the 13th of December on League Start with the Conqueror of the Utlers and the Metamorph League. So, uh, Zizaran, one of the community streamers, and Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games uh, are going to make an Awakener kill event. So the Awakener will be probably the new end boss of this upcoming uh, expansion, the Conquerors of the Atlas. Uh, and they had this awesome idea to just make a very, very big race about this boss and a lot of other small step bosses on the way to it. So uh, Cicero put up a price of $30,000 and uh, Grinding Your Games will hook that one up with a bunch of the most expensive microtransactions. So if we take a look at the cash prizes, we have like first place $8,000 for the first guy in Hardcore Solo Cell Found that is able to beat the Awakener. Then we have second place uh, 4,000, third place 2,000, fourth to 15th place $500. The first at Siri Kill. Uh, then we have the first Uber at Siri kill with like a 2000, the first Shaper kill, the first Elder kill, the first Uber Elder kill, and the deepest delve with a price menu of $4,000 uh, that is calculated exactly one month after this event started, so on the th uh, 13th of January. So the guy that got the deepest delve in hard console of cell phone within one month will get $4,000. So it's actually quite insane. I've never seen since I played this game. Uh, an event like this, especially not with that amount of money put together here. So uh, big props to Scissor in here to uh, really get this one going and really doing something insanely well uh, or great for the community. So I want to talk about this event. Uh, so this um, site here where you can track down everything with the video is linked in the description below. So if you want to check that out, I just want to give uh, you my personal opinion about that. Also tips and tricks and also why I'm not participating in this event. So first of all, uh, yeah, let's start with the main thing while you're watching this here on my channel, MBX, why are you not participating in this event? So there is three major things basically why I'm not doing that. First of all, I'm not a hardcore solo cell phone player, okay? So I've played hardcore solo cell phone once yet, and that was back in the days on Synthesis Flashback. So that was the last month of the race basically. Uh, where I tried to get all my hardcore achievements done uh, that you can unlock for your account, right? This is like uh, normal lap, then the cruel lap, merciless, and the uber lap, uh, and also reach hardcore level 90. And it took me 15 characters within one month um, to actually be able to get to level 90. And the character is still alive, right? But it took me 15 characters to get to level 90. So... Uh, looking at the price pulls, it's like super nice and everything, but I think if you are not an experienced hardcore solo cell phone racer, um, you probably not really have a chance to do that. But anyways, it's all about the fun, right? Uh, and the second part is uh, YouTube. Basically, I'm a softcore player, right? And all my content on YouTube is based on softcore, right? With all the gambles, with uh, trying out uh, a new build every two days, with just crafting without caring about the currency, without caring about dying at all. I just wanna have fun in the game. And this is, Hardcore Solid Cell Phone is just something completely different. And if I would invest one month of League Start in Hardcore Solid Cell Phone with this race, um, and then come back a month later and start a leak start on softcore trading, I'll be back a year, right? So as we all know, if you're playing softcore uh, trade league, you know that in the first two weeks of a new league, uh, if you really grind up, you can make enough currency to cover the expenses of the rest of the league, okay? And this is basically what I'm always doing. In the first month, I'm just grinding, I'm farming everything, I make a bunch of currency, and in the other two months until uh, the league ends, I'm just trying out every fancy new build that is coming up in my mind or new skill gems uh, that are popping off in the expansions and so on. And if I would uh, participate in this race, um, I just have no chance uh, to do all of that. So I would just ruin my whole YouTube uh, content with a video every day or uh, every second day. Uh, and this is for me personally, just not worth it. And the third reason, and this is actually the most valuable to me, okay, the most important reason for me, 
uh, all the MTXs here, and these are the most expensive MTXs here. We have the Celestial Armor set, the Sin and Innocence, that's a combined one, the Transcendent uh, set here, that is, I think, like, 840 points just for the uh, for the base armor set and so on. So grinding your games is really putting out the best available and the best looking and also the best, most expensive MTXs here. And yeah, that that's my personal uh, problem here. I already have all the MTX, so I don't think that I can ever win any of these prizes. And I have all of those, so it's kind of easy for me to say, you know what, guys, I'm just not participating. But if you are willing, if you are motivated, and I can really, really um, recommend this one, okay? Because uh, when I played the Synthesis Flashback event, it was my first Hardcore Solo Cell Phone experience since I played this game. Uh, I cannot remember ever having so much fun. And this is a complete different style of playing the game. Uh, and you learn so much, even for softcore, you know, because you have to build your characters differently. Uh, you have to take different approaches on certain bosses and you just want to be safe, just not dying at all, you know. And if you learn how to do that, to pull that one off, to actually get level 90 Hard Crystal 7, for example, this will actively help you in the upcoming league starts. Uh, and also if you're racing to just get better timings and get rich even faster. And for that reason, if you're motivated to do so, I invited Tai Tai Killer, which is one of the best racers currently in Path of Exile. I invited him and uh, we are going to make a full racing guide, Act 1 until Key Tower uh, in Act 10, where we're gonna analyze um, all his run. Okay, so he um, recorded already um, a run for his uh, like a three hours uh, Kitava kill run on Act 10. And we're both going to analyze his run. Me as the basically interviewer, the softcore player that has absolutely no idea about racing. And he as the professional racer, uh, like every time I, I think something is suspicious or why is he doing this? What is he doing there? He's going to uh, give us all his secrets about racing. And hands down, he's one of the best racers uh, that Path of Exile has to offer. So we're going to learn a shitload of uh, information about racing and you can... Uh, watch the video, play yourself, and then see his timings, your timings, where can you get better, what does he do different to be even faster. So this is going to be very nice and hopefully it will help you with the upcoming Awakener Kill event so you can cash in on all those juicy prize money. So the videos are going to be uploaded in the upcoming days, so make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't wanna miss that. It's going to be one video per act, so you can really like uh, browse through if you say like, oh, I, I have problems in Hardcore Solo Self on killing Duedre. So you're just gonna watch the act eight, I think it was eight in the start. Um, and then just watch how he's doing it, uh, what combination he's using, how to dodge stuff, you know, and just try to basically try to get on his level, I would say, right? And yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you guys are checking on these and it hopefully helps you on the race, on the Awakeness event. So guys, Thanks for tuning in today. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.